So far, more than 90 people have been arrested since Wednesday's mob attack on the U.S. Capitol. And tonight, the FBI is asking for your help to identify some of the pro-Tump rioters. You may wonder, why does the FBI even need citizens' help? Eugene Daniel found out tonight it's not a simple task. As of Friday, the FBI said 13 people are charged with federal crimes related to the Capitol breach, and the investigation is just getting started. The FBI director vows to punish people responsible for what he calls a siege, assuring Americans they have deployed full investigative resources. The order of business is to identify people who have committed federal crimes. Former FBI supervisor Steve Foster says the Bureau will first form a task force with several agencies. Capitol Police has been criticized for not detaining people caught in the act and allowing violators to go home. But an FBI assistant director wants to be clear. Just because you've left the D.C. region, you should still expect a knock on the door if we find out you were part of criminal activity inside the Capitol. Foster says that's where social media and the massive number of images come into play. We know the media has taken photographs and video. We know that the Capitol uh, has cameras and there are photographs and video. We know individuals who participated in uh, uh, the protests and riots also have videos. We the FBI released photos many shared online to find people of interest. It already helped capture this Arkansas man seen in this infamous photo with his feet on House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's desk. Foster says he doesn't know how long the process will take. It was a large crowd and investigators still must identify and connect the right people to the crime. Another priority, finding any organizers which may call for help from the White House, as ABC News reports former Trump staffers helped organize the earlier protest. Uh, I think that there might be some subpoenas to the White House and the president's staff, because don't forget, they organized a lot of this. In Norfolk, Eugene Daniel, 13 News Now. As this story continues to play out, stay with us for updates on air and online.